Hello again. Today I want to share with you a small collage, lace collage, lace and fabric collage wall hanging that I've made. I'm actually going to um, enter this into, I think it's Tabasco14 who is Johnny. She's having a, um, a challenge at the moment to make something either shabby chic or vintage. It could fit in either of those categories because um, it was her 65th birthday and her birthday was on the 14th of July which is really lovely because that was the, that's my birthday as well so <laughs> I thought yes I'm definitely going to enter her challenge and this is what I've made. It's just a small wall hanging which is a lovely size as you can see. It's, um, it's probably what three and three quarter inches by maybe eight at the most. It's only very small and it was a lovely size to work on. Sometimes we do things that are a bit big and it gets really hard to fill in all the spaces but when you work on something not much bigger than a card it's a lot easier. Uh, I've done it in a vintage style in creams and whites um, with almost a touch of pink in there as well as you can see that lovely color um, I'll just try and describe it to you what I've used as the base is actually a linen doily you can still see it on the back there it's a little bit stained up but it's quite old it has the most beautiful lace around the edge of it and I thought it was the ideal size just to fold in half and use it um, as the base of my hanging. I've then gone over it with this lovely uh, scalloped organza fabric or lace that Shah sent me with her matchbox. Thank you very much Shah. I've um, used some appliques here that I bought from Lavish Laces. I've also used this lovely, I think it was actually, uh, you know the bassinet covers, this sort of thing. It's like a really, really soft chul, but I think it was an old bassinet or baby's bed cover. And I've used that underneath the picture in the background. Um, the picture is just a t-shirt transfer onto some an old napkin. What else have I done? I have this lovely flower applique here in the corner, the white one. That's from Zendele, who is Rosella. I also used one of these gorgeous flowers that Kerry dyed for me. She's actually got a tutorial on her channel now on how she goes about doing this transfer dye she does. That was actually one flower but I took it apart because I just I wanted to share it around a little bit. I have a doily medallion under here and just a tiny little um, jewel piece there that was actually quite silver but I put a little bit of black rub and buff on that just to age it a little bit. There's this lovely doily piece under here also. Uh, some white flowers from Lily, another piece of applique from Lavish Laces, and this gorgeous old earring here. I thought it's it's really quite beautiful, and it just went with this so well. I've got a little beading here, glass beading, and a little bit of trim. This beautiful old jeweled chain just draping down there and hanging. A few more tassely bits from lace I got from Lele. An old doily piece here that I've sort of been cutting into a lot lately and this gorgeous gorgeous vintage lace here and I got that also from Zendele. What else am I doing on this? I think that's pretty much it on the front there. Lots of layering. Oh I also have this beautiful lace down the side here goes down both sides and that is from I had to remember where everything came from that is this lovely lace here and that is from Rosanna who also sent that with her matchbox thank you so much Rosanna so I think that's all I have some gorgeous vintage lace just tied around my 
little coat hanger that I put together and I pretty much um, used Armador's tutorial on that coat hanger but my wire was so wrinkly it was it's still a little bit crooked but I don't mind that effect at all what I ended up using because I didn't have any wire was you know the spiral binding you get in your um, in the little um, scrapbooks you can buy and they come with blank pages and they're spiral bound well my a while ago I I took one apart and then my son got to the spiral binding of it and totally massacred it so <laughs> it was a nice easy to use wire so I used some of that and straightened it out as best I could and um, gessoed it and painted it so that's what the hangers made up of. On the back here I've just got some nice beaded trim and just a little bit of um, like a Chinese braid that I got from Lingcraft and that's my lovely little oh this tiny little bit of trim I don't know if you can see just there that was from Hazel who sent that with her matchbox also thank you Hazel for that and that's it I hope you like my small fabric lace collage wall hanging and go over and um, pay Johnny a visit and maybe there's still time to enter her challenge I think it doesn't finish until about the 14th of August okay thank you for joining me today and I hope you like it Bye-bye.